This video is on MATLAB Vector Basics. Here, we will cover the basics of creating and manipulating vectors in MATLAB. So stay tuned, since vectors are a fundamental type of array in MATLAB, and understanding their use is essential. The first step in working with vectors in MATLAB is creating them. Vectors can be created in several ways. The simplest way to create a vector is to use the column operator. For example, if you want to create a vector, of the numbers 1 to 5, we can use the following command. This creates a row with the values 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. To create a row vector where you define the values, you just have to enter the values between brackets and separate it by the common operator. For example, let me create a vector containing the elements. If you want to create a column vector instead of a row one, you just have to use the same procedure as above, but using the semicolon operator instead of the comma one between the values of the vector. So now let's move on to the next topic, which is assessing the vector elements. Now that we have created a vector, we can access its individual elements. The syntax for accessing elements of a vector is similar to other programming languages. We use the brackets and put inside the specific position that we want to access. For example, returns the second element of the vector x, which is 1. We can also access a range of elements using the column operator. For example, returns a subvector of x containing the elements at positions 2, 3, and 4. To continue, let me use the CLC command to clear the common window. Let's remember our vector x. Let's say we do not want a range, but instead we want specific positions. For example, let's say that we want to extract the second and fourth positions of x. To do this, we have to type the desired positions inside brackets. For example, returns a subvector of x containing the elements at positions 2 and 4, respectively. Sweet. Let's move on to the next topic, which is vector operations. If this content is helping you, subscribe to the channel to learn more by clicking the red icon below this video. Okay. So MATLAB provides a wide range of operations that can be performed on vectors. For the sake of this video, we will focus on element-wise operations. First, let's define another vector y that has the same length of x and its values are integer ranging from 1 to 5. As we have seen, we create this vector using the command. Some of the most commonly used operations include element-wise addition and subtraction. For example, if you want to add x and y, we just have to type x plus y. Then, to subtract, you just replace the plus sign with the minus 1. On the other hand, to perform element-wise multiplication or division, we have to add a dot before the operator. For example, to multiply each component of x, by the corresponding one of y, we type the command. And the result is a vector whose components are the result of the multiplication between the components of x and y. Finally, let's move on to the last topic, which will teach how to erase an element and to keep the ones that respect a predefined condition. To delete a component of a vector is easy. For example, to delete the second component of x, you simply type and the second component of x are deleted. Now, let's suppose that you want to create another vector v that has only the components of x that are smaller than 0. To this end, we have to put the conditional x smaller than 0 in between parentheses. The resulting command is
and it will return a vector v with the negative components of x. This is all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope this tutorial was helpful. Our videos are appearing on the screen. To continue learning, click on the one that makes the most sense to you. Be safe, and see you in the next video.